Okay, hello everyone. Um, let's get started on Uber. So what are rideshare apps? Rideshare apps are services on your phone or internet device, as Nick mentioned before, that arrange rides to a location on a short notice. Uh, advantages of reshare apps. Let's see, they are easy to use. The app is often free and the rides are pretty affordable. And a lot of times they are cheaper than taxis, a lot cheaper than taxis. Uh, you can rate the drivers. So the review will always stick to them. And then apps like Uber have services to help people carry things, deliver foods or groceries. And you're able to select how many seats you want in case you want other people. And then if it's too expensive, you can always split it with them. Um, you know the exact cost of your trip before booking it. And then you can add stops and drop off points to multiple locations, which is really helpful if you're going from one place to another. Uh, but you need to create some stops along the way. Disadvantages of the rideshare apps. Drivers can have difficulty tracking where you are at times. Uh, possibility of, of security concerns is always um, in the back of people's minds. More expensive than tra public transportation. And it's a bit not always reliable. There's a lot of factors that go into reliability. Uh, such as internet connection and location. Okay, so the first one we're going to review is Uber. Uber is an application that lets you hire a private driver to take you from point A to point B. It was founded in 2009 by this man named Travis Kalanick, Kalanick and Garrett Camp. Uber features, uh, you can book a ride as soon as you need it or schedule it for one later at a specific time and place. The scheduling one is very helpful because um, you can just set it and it will be there at that time. Save your frequent locations to your favorites for easy bookings later. And here, oh, here's the split fare feature that I was telling you guys earlier about. Um, it allows you to divide the cost up to three people directly through the app. And once again, you can set multiple destinations and you can quickly send local packages to friends and family. How to create an Uber account. Now we can go to the Apple store or Play store uh, and download the Uber app for free, or you can go to uber.com. And like I said, like me and Nick mentioned before, it can be accessed online through your computer. Um, on a phone, you can start the app and you just open it through your Google Play Store and then you get started. Um, on the computer, oh, sorry. You can press Rider on the page and then it'll be able to, we can do a live demo and you'll, you guys will be able to see in a little bit. Um, you can have your personal details all ready to go. And then once you complete all those steps, you're now able to start booking rides. So the process to set this up is pretty simple. Um, now let's talk through the steps of how to book an Uber directly. Enter your location. If you have location services activated on your phone, it should automatically connect. Sometimes you have to input the very specific address so that you can position the point of, um, of the point of pickup. And uh, you enter the location where you would like to be dropped off. And then you can choose the size and options of the cars. Uh, Uber X usually holds three people. Uber XL holds, um, I think it's like six to, to seven people or something like that. And then the other options just keep increasing from there. Okay, how to catch your Uber ride. So you can track your Uber to see the driver's name, the type and color of the vehicle, uh, the license plate number and how far it is. All this information is given to you on the app and it will make it very clear where and what and who the driver is. Um, if you need to contact the driver, you can call them and sometimes they'll just call you 
and tell you like, hey, I'm here. I've been for I've been waiting here for a little bit. Are you still on your way? Um, and then you can always cancel the Uber if you need to. Um, if you want to cancel the ride before you've matched with the driver, you can do it without being charged. Um, to cancel a trip after you've been matched with the driver, you have to tap the bottom and then click cancel trip and you will be charged a cancellation fee, which is kind of unfortunate. Um, your driver may cancel if you don't show up to the point of pickup in time and then you will also be charged a cancellation fee. So there's a lot of fees with Uber if you don't get there on time. Um, you, won't be you won't be charged a cancellation fee if your driver is taking too long to arrive though. And after your Uber ride, your, your card will automatically be charged. Your calculated fare fees include the base rates, rates for estimated time and distance of the route, the current demand for rides in the area, and then any tolls that the driver has to go through. You can give them a rating between one to five, and tipping is voluntarily, is voluntary, but highly encouraged. Uh, and then this is, well, we can go through um, sending a package through Uber now, and the steps are pretty similar except on the front of the screen, you would hit instead of ride or food, you would just press package and then uh, tap send a package or receive a package. You type in the from and where to locations and you can press connect or you can even have a COVID-19 kit sent to your house through Uber. Um, for a successful delivery, make sure your package is 30 pounds or less, $100 or less in value, secured, sealed, and placed in the driver's trunk. Uh, not a prohibited item. Prohibited items include alcohol, medication, recreational drugs, firearms, and dangerous or illegal some uh, items. So just basically anything but those illegal things. Uh, okay, let's talk about using Uber safely. Um, have the driver confirm your name when they arrive and check the license plate. Those are two things that I always do. And then you can share the details of your ride with a friend so they can track your journey during the ride. Do not hesitate to call emergency services if the driver is doing something dangerous. The app has a panic button that will let you immediately call 911. You can also report a driver using the app. If the driver asks for extra cash, you do not have to give them any. You can read about more Uber safety at ubersafety.com slash safety. Okay, using Uber during COVID-19. So this is a bit outdated, but um, I don't think that they require masks in Uber anymore. But just in case they do, let's just run through this real quick so that everybody is aware. Um, drivers and passengers, oh, there it is. They're no longer uh, wear masks during the ride, but it is encouraged. Riders are encouraged to sit in the back seat. Some drivers may have a plastic barrier in between the driver's seat and the back seat. Hanitize your hands after every ride, once you come in and once you leave. Okay, ride share alternatives. There's always Lyft is another one, a uh, pretty similar service. It just sometimes the fares and uh, the demand are different at different times, which can lead to a, a, a increase in price or a decrease in price, depending on where you wanna go. And Curb is another one, which apparently is an American taxi app and it connects you to fast and safe rides across the US. There's Papa Ride too. That one's Canadian ride sharing app. Oh, okay, so that one's in can, uh, Canada. And then Face Drive, eco-friendly car share service in Toronto once again. So I don't, I'm not sure if these two are exclusive to, to, uh, to Canada, 
but it seems like they are because I've never heard of them. Um, okay, if you'd like to drive yourself, there's also options for that. Uh, car share apps allow you to rent a vehicle at reduced prices, very last minute. Uh, so Zipcar, a fleet of more than uh, 10,000 vehicles located about 500 cities in Canada, US, and the UK, Costa Rica, and Iceland. Reserve a car online or the, uh, or the app to easily book one when you need it. Moto is another one, car share app for BC. Uh, pickup available, moto, and charge per hour. Okay, let's discuss Uber Eats. Uber Eats is just Uber that delivers food to you. Um, Uber has an additional food delivery service called Uber Eats. You can order meals or groceries from local restaurants and stores to be delivered right to your doorstep. Uh, we have a whole past webinar on Uber Eats in the 